It's a tough time for the Supreme Court. The self-governed institution has long benefited from the presumption that its justices are nonpartisan and sacrifice lucrative careers to serve the public. But now, that perception is starting to crack. In a months-long investigation, the Associated Press submitted over 100 public records requests to public schools and institutions where the justices have visited over the years, and the information in these records is revealing. In one case, Justice Sonia Sotomayor padded her book sales during public appearances, making roughly $3.7 million since 2009. While writing books for profit is permissible, AP discovered that Sotomayor's court staff helped make sales by organizing, promoting, and managing her book events. AP also discovered Justice Clarence Thomas was used as a fundraising attraction, accepted invitations to events, where his presence helped raise money for organizations. Activities like these are strictly forbidden in other branches of government. So why is the Supreme Court different? Unlike other government employees, Supreme Court justices serve as their own judge and jury on matters of ethics. They also aren't required to disclose many details about their financial holdings or activities, making it hard for the government and the public to know what they're up to. Some members of Congress are now demanding the court change and adopt a formal policy for ethics and transparency. This also comes at a time when the court's public approval rating has dropped to a 50-year low, with just 18% expressing great confidence. While Chief Justice John Roberts has entertained the idea of potential reforms, he hasn't opened the door to them yet.